Hi guys, this is Toniko. I paint on bags and other things and recently I started digital painting as well. Welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, click like, comment, press the notification bell and share it if you can. Thank you. This video is actually a continuation of the previous video I uploaded called Two Reasons Why It's Okay to Trace. On that video, I was explaining why I believe artists should be respected if they want to trace the initial outlines of their painting. And I also explained why people who want to learn to draw can benefit in tracing. For this video, let's talk about copyright. But before I start, I would like to put on a little disclaimer that I am not a lawyer. All that I will be saying in this video is based on my understanding upon doing a few days of research on this subject. If you want to be sure, please consult a lawyer. In connection to the topic of tracing, we could easily get into trouble if we don't have the basic understanding on intellectual property or IP. Intellectual property refers to the creation of the mind such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs and symbols, names and images used in commerce. You see, it's very important for intellectual property to be protected. Let's say you painted something, anybody can take it and claim it as their own. Like if you discover something or you invented something, the same thing, anybody can take it and claim it as their own. That is why there is a law on copyright, trademark, patent, and so on. What is copyright? Copyright is expression in any original work or authorship, graphic elements and characters if fleshed out, as well as style, story, plot, and themes. So what it means guys is that the owner of the copyrighted work has the exclusive right on his work meaning we cannot make a copy of it, we cannot make a copy and distribute it and we cannot even make a derivative work from it. Now what is a copyrighted work you may ask and do we have to register it? No. The moment that for example you draw something on a paper that's already copyrighted. By the way, have you seen this picture before? This was the former US President Barack Obama's symbol for his campaign. The artist who made this, Mr. Shepard Ferry, if I pronounce that right, was actually almost put into prison for this because he traced the picture of the former US President Barack Obama and the copyright owner of the original picture filed a case against him. So going back to how we actually commit copyright infringement. Like fan art, for example, it is illegal under the copyright law. You cannot even make your own interpretation of a character, for example, the Demon Slayer characters, you want to change it into a more realistic form, that is still a copyright infringement. Copying it, tracing it, making a photocopy of it, it is also copyright infringement. Still illegal. Even copying a distinctive style is illegal under the copyright law. For example, you really like Peanut and you make a character that is very different from Peanut but the style of your drawing is very similar. It is infringement of copyright. Even cosplay is a copyright infringement because it falls under derivative of the copyrighted work. Since it is not okay to make a fan art, it naturally means it's not okay to post it. You might say, oh, how about if I post it and tag the original copyright owner or mention that I was inspired by his work? The law still says it's not okay because you would need a consent from the copyright owner. And if you don't have that, then it's not okay, unfortunately. By the way, copyrights last 70 years after the death of the copyright owner and for corporate works, it is a bit longer like 95 to 120 years. Interestingly, copyright can be passed on. It is an absolute monopoly for the creator. You can pass it on to a company or to your family or friends. You can do anything as the copyright owner. 
you can use your social media for example and tell your fans okay i am allowing you guys or giving you permission to copy my work this sunday from 12 noon until 5 pm and that's it after that it's gonna be under copyright again by the way guys, in case you're wondering, here are the 5 penalties if you commit a copyright infringement. There is an exemption though when you can use the copyrighted work if you have a consent from the owner. Getting the consent doesn't always have to be free though. You can buy it or make an agreement with the copyright owner. Another thing is there is such a thing as fair use that you can actually use as a defense like when you are doing a parody of the copyrighted work like or use it for criticism, comment, news, teaching or research that is under fair use. But this is a very tricky one though because you'll never know if you're crossing the line so we still have to be very careful. Another good defense is implied consent if there is an official statement from the copyright owner that is implying that he is okay with fan art for example that could be used as a defense having said that though it is very well understood in the entertainment industry in the comic industry publishing industry that an artist can include fan art of the famous characters as part of their portfolio whether or not they have permission from the owner of these works for the purpose of showing their talent, their capability, and their skill. By the way guys, this picture that I'm painting here is a portrait of my cousin Cookie. Shout out to Cookie. Thank you so much for allowing me to use your image for this video. If you have any question, please comment down below. And if you have anything that you want to add onto this topic, please let me know. I hope that you learn a thing or two by watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it somehow. Please subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, press the notification bell, like and please share to your friends if you can. Thank you. This has been Toniko. See you in my next one. Bye.